Hello and welcome to another episode of Sea of Thieves News. We've got plenty in store for you, so what's going on here? I'm just uh, just introing the, the news. Uh, listen, I don't want to hear it. Get back in your cage. Who let you out anyway? Honestly, some people, you give them an inch and they take a mile. Anyway, let's get back to the news. We recently celebrated the Sea of Thieves Season 7 Community Day and we saw some incredible moments from across the Sea of Thieves community. There was stunning artwork by the boatload, cosplay that left us questioning our Halloween costume choices, exquisite prop making and creative use of crates to celebrate the day. One group of players even set about placing reaper's chests on every island in the Sea of Thieves. Joining that server and checking out the world map must have been very confusing. And over on Sea of Thieves television, we celebrated by handing control of the stream over to you. With viewer voyages, the chat took the wheel and directed our host Lazy Buzzard on an adventure filled with excitement, danger and gold. If you missed the Community Day this time, then not to worry, because we hold a new Community Day every season, so start planning your celebrations and we'll see you for Season 8. On the 29th of September, we are releasing new spine-tingling items into the Pirate Emporium. With the Bleak Heart Banshee ship set, embrace the tragic tale of doomed love and spread dread throughout the seas. The salvaged items of the ill-fated Bleak Heart Manor have found new purpose as dramatic decorations. Let's hope the spirits don't take offence. You can also buy the Bleak Heart Banshee weapon set. These heirlooms from a life left behind were once used by a cursed line of maritime aristocracy. The curse, hopefully, isn't contagious. And with the Bleak Heart Banshee costume, pirates can now embody a figure of fear from Sea of Thieves legend, whose devotion to a love lost at sea led to an afterlife seeking retribution. It seems the restless dead have a lot they need to get off their chests. With the new Skull Crusher emote, you can give those skellies exactly what they've got coming. And it's free too. What's not to love? The Siren's Prize adventure ends on September 29th. So as one chapter comes to a close, we can look ahead to what comes next. As sinister forces come together to spread evil throughout the seas, players will go on a journey of discovery in our next adventure, The Herald of the Flame, which launches on October 13th. And finally, on September 30th, we'll be running Galley of Grub, a 24-hour live stream in support of the charity No Kid Hungry. As well as being joined by a selection of amazing creators, viewers will be treated to Twitch drops and giveaways galore. So that's it for another Sea of Thieves news. I'm back where I rightfully belong and I'm sure you're all absolutely thrilled about that. So if you enjoyed my triumphant return, then please like, subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.